Hi guys! Continuation ito sa nagdaang lesson natin. So, quarter 4 pa rin tayo. Grade 5 Math, Module 1. Uh, ang nagtaraang lesson natin is Lesson 1 that is about area of a circle. So, ngayon naman, ang Lesson 2 natin is about solve a routine and non-routine problems involving the area of a circle. Sa pag-solve ng routine and non-routine problems involving the area of a circle, meron tayong four steps na dapat nating tandaan. So, ang mga steps na yon ang first is understand, second is plan, third is solve, and fourth is check and look back. So, ang understand natin, dapat masagot natin kung ano yung hinahanap natin or what is ask and then what are given. So, kung ano yung given sa problem natin. Sa so step 2 naman is find the area kung ano yung area ang hinahanap natin. And then operation to be used kung ano yung operation na gagamitin natin. And then step 3 is isolve na natin. Pagkatapos ang step 4 is check ba at uh, check and look back. So titingnan lang natin kung tama ba yung process na ginawa natin. Meron tayong example dito. So this is an example of a routine problem. Anna has a circular top table. She wanted to cover it with tablecloth. It has 0.7 meter radius. How many square meters of cloth are needed to cover exactly the circular top table? So ngayon, meron na tayong problem. Gagamitin na natin ang ating four steps in solving our routine problems. Sa understand is meron tayong what is asked. So ano ba yung hinahanap natin sa ating problem? Ang hinahanap natin is square meters of cloth are needed to cover exactly the circular top table. Dahil meron na tayong what is asked, ngayon naman is what are the given? So ano yung given natin? So 0 0.7 meter radius. Step 2 is plan. So, sa plan is find the area. So, ano yung area na i-find natin? Area of the circular top of the circular top of a table. And then, operation to be used. So, ano yung gagamitin nating operation? Of course, ang gagamitin natin is multiplication. Bakit multiplication? Kasi ang formula in finding the area, ang formula sa paghahanap ng ating area ng circle is equal to area is equal to pi radius squared. Kung saan si radius is i-multiply mo sa kanyang sarili pagkatapos i-multiply mo kay uh, pi. So that's why multiplication yung gagamitin nating operation. Nasa step 3 na tayo which is solve. So mag-solve na tayo. Ang ating for formula in finding the area of a circle is area is equal to pi radius squared. So ang equivalent ng ating pi is 3.14. So tatanda nyo yan na ang, ang value ng pi is 3.14. Hindi hindi yan siya magbabago kasi constant ang value ng pi. So ngayon is isolve na natin siya. Ano yung radius natin? Ano yung given natin? 0 0.7. So ang radius natin is 0 0.7 meter. So, area is equal to pi. Ang value ng ating pi is 3.14. So, 3.14 multiplied by the radius. This radius is 0 0.7 meter squared. Ayan. So, kopyahin natin si 3.14. And then, 0 0.7 meter squared means si 0 0.7 meter is i-multiply mo sa kanyang sarili. Na 0 0.7 meter Pagkatapos, copyhan ulit si 3.14. 0 0.7 meter times 0 0.7 meter. So, i-multiply natin. 0 0.7. So, ang sagot natin sa 0 0.7 meter multiplied by 0 0.7 meter is 0 0.49 meter squared. Squared na siya kasi meter times meter is equal to meter squared. Okay? So, ngayon is i-multiply naman natin si 3.14 kay 0 0.49. So, ibig sabihin, 3.14 multiplied by 0 0.49 meter squared is equal to 1.5386 meter squared. Okay? So, 1.5386 meter squared. Ito na yung complete answer natin. There is 1.5386 meter squared of cloth she needs to cover exactly the circular top of the table. So, ito yung sagot natin. Hindi pwede na ito lang yung isulat nyo. Dapat nakaganito yung answer nyo. Ang step 4 natin is check and look back. So, titingnan nyo lang yung process na ginawa nyo kung tama ba siya. Example number 2, this is a non-routine problem. So, Alan wants to tile a circular lot outside their house with a radius of 2.2 meter. A tile has an area of 0 0.04 meter squared. How many pieces of tiles are needed 
to cover the circular knot. So, this is a non-routine problem. Ngayon is magsisimula tayo sa step 1 which is understand. Step 1 is understand what is asked. So, ano yung hinahanap natin? Ang hinahanap natin is number of tiles needed to cover the circular lot. So, ito yung hinahanap natin, pieces of tiles needed to cover the circular lot. So, what are the given? Ang given natin is 2.2 meter radius and 0.04 meter squared. So, 2.2 meter radius and 0.04 meter squared. Step 2 na tayo. So, ang step 2 is plan. Ang plan natin is find the area of a circular lot. So, uunahin natin hahanapin ang area ng circular lot sa labas ng bahay nila Alan. Kasi gusto niyang lagyan ng tiles sa labas. So, hahanapin muna natin kung ano yung area ng lot. And then, pagkatapos, i-divide natin ito sa area or divide it by the area of a tile. Ngayon, ano yung operation na gagamitin natin? Ang operation na gagamitin natin is multiplication and division. Kasi sa paghahanap ng area is multiply natin, pagkatapos is divide. So, that's why multiplication and division yung gagamitin natin na operation. Step 3 na tayo. So, mag-solve na tayo. Ano yung unang gagawin natin? Hahanapin natin ang area ng circular lot. So, ano yung radius ng ating circular lot? Ang radius niya is 2.2 meters. So, ngayon is isolve na natin siya. So, area is equal to pi radius squared. Ang value ng ating pi is 3.14. So, tatanda nyo yan. Hindi yan magbabago. And then, radius. Ang value ng ating radius is 2.2 meter. 2.2 meter squared. So, kukopyahin natin si 3.14. And then, 2.2 meter squared simply means 2.2 meter times, i-multiply mo sa kanyang sarili. So, kopyahin ulit natin si 3.14. Pagkatapos si 2.2 is i-multiply natin. So, 2.2 multiplied by 2.2. So, ibig sabihin is meron tayong 4.84 meter squared dito. So, ngayon is 3.14 i-multiply natin kay 4.84. So, ibig sabihin, 3.14 multiplied by 4.84 is equal to 15.1976 meter squared. So, ito yung sagot natin. Dahil meron na tayong area ng circular lot which is 15.1976 meter squared. So, ngayon, ano ulit ang gagawin natin pagkatapos nating mag-multiply? I-divide natin ang area ng ating uh, tile. So, ano yung area ng ating tile? So, ang tile natin, ang kanyang area is... 0.04 meter squared. So, ngayon, i-divide na natin ito sa ating area ng ating lot. So, 15.1976 divided by 0.04. Complete answer natin is there are 379.94 or 380. So, i-round off natin, natin siya to the nearest 10. So, si 379.94 magiging 380. 380 pieces of tiles needed. So, ibig sabihin si Alan, kailangan niya ng 380 pieces tiles para malagyan niya ng tiles ang kanyang circular lots sa labas ng kanilang bahay. That's all for today's video, guys. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson. See you on our next lesson. Bye!